True with Guns America's Hunt 365. Today we're going to be going over two brand new products from Knox Picks. A handheld and a rifle scope with features you're not going to want to miss. Alright, so first of all, let's talk about what Knock Picks is or who it is. So many of you are aware of IRA USA. They are the distributor for Infrared Outdoors and they have been in the thermal game for a while. They're located in Texas. IRA USA, located in Texas, is distributing, warranting, repairing this Knox Picks brand. So it falls under their five-year warranty and five day guarantee if you have a problem you send it back to them they'll have it back to you within five days that's the guarantee so there's that's their warranty they're the servicer um, but it's called knock picks n-o-c-p-i-x it's absolutely most definitely a chinese thermal but it's got features that i have not seen on any thermal so far and i think it's really interesting and really cool so let's just talk about that really quickly here so this looks like a regular rifle scope it uses a 34 millimeter tube, so I was able to use my Seekins uh, rail on here. And the first thing that it's got here is right here, this is actually an optical zoom. I know that sounds crazy, but that's what it is. Instead of, it also has digital zoom, but instead of digitally zooming in where the, it gets pixelated and you're zooming in on pixels, this actually magnifies inside the eyepiece, and as you rotate this over, it zooms in on the eyepiece, kind of like what a clip-on does with your regular, like, 1 to 6 LPVO. So instead of zooming digitally, you're zooming optically and it magnifies the whole picture. It doesn't get all pixelated. So the next thing that's really interesting and really cool about these, if you check out right here on the end, this is a 50 millimeter objective IR lens, but this little piece right here has the laser rangefinder in it, which, so there's nothing sticking out, nothing to bump it out of alignment. This laser rangefinder works great out to 1200 meters is what it is designed to do. And by the way, the handheld has the same feature. This is called the ACE H50R, which is specifically what this model is. And if you're watching this, it's available now. So the specs are this, 640 by 512, so it's a 640 sensor. The millikelvin, which is how sensitive the sensor is, is a net 15 or less, which is insane. That is so sensitive. So you're gonna see a lot of detail. Has a detection range of 2,600 meters. Uh, this has full ballistics in it, so you connect it to the Knockpix app on your phone and you put in your BC, your velocity, your temperature, your altitude, your height over your scope over bore height, those numbers, and then when you range, this automatically drops down and gives you the dope. It actually moves your reticle down and allows you to shoot without having to even think. So it's really easy to use. This is your power button. You hold it down for a second. It turns on. Right here is your camera and video button. So if you want to hold this down, it'll turn on and start recording. By the way, this also has recoil activated video. So if you forget to do that, when you fire that shot, it goes back a few seconds before your shot and then records a few seconds after. So you're never going to miss your shot, which is a feature that I absolutely love and then over on this side which is really easy to reach with your left hand while you're on the gun is your rangefinder so you can hold it down for continuous and it'll just continue to scan or you do a single single does the ballistic calculation gives you the crosshair where it belongs this has digital zoom as well so you can actually just turn this and it turns the digital zoom in and out it has uh, multiple color palettes it has multiple reticle options. Oh, the other really cool thing, it has an internal battery that you charge via USB-C. And to keep this IP67, you just simply turn this, opens up the port, plug in your USB cable. You can use it while you drive down the road and charge it up. And then to just seal it from dust and stuff, you close that up. No more cap to take off that you could potentially lose. And then here's the other really cool part. Never run out of battery life ever again. This uses an 18650 battery. You can hot swap it out. So you don't even have to turn the scope off because of the internal battery. Throw an 18650 in there shut the battery door and you're back in business. You can carry as many of those as you want. They're rechargeable, they're not expensive. I have tons of them around for flashlights. Uh, so that is really cool. This out here is your focus 
and it's really not hard to reach at all. It also has what's called a shutterless feature. So if you guys are used to thermals, you know about the nuke feature. You're going along looking and all of a sudden it gives you a countdown. The whole thing freezes inside and you hear it go click. This doesn't have that. So this has a shutterless nuke feature. You don't even notice it. I've ne I never even have seen it do it. Uh, so really cool. Uh, what else? So I already told you the range finder is 1200 meters. Detection range 2600. It's a 640 by 512. It's IP67 rated. Has an internal battery, 18650s. Uh, this objective uh, zoom. Uh, what else am I missing? All the pallets, all the reticles, all the features inside that you can imagine. It's quite easy to zero. I had no issues zeroing it at all. Uh, what else? Yeah, I shot some great groups with it. Um, oh, the eyepiece. When you look into this eyepiece, one thing I kind of thought is that the eye relief was a little tight, but it is on all thermals, so I'm not sure that it's actually any tighter than anything else, but this has a 2560 by 2560 display inside it. So this display is one of the better displays that I've ever looked into. I actually run this with the with the brightness almost all the way down. You'll see my settings as we talk about that, but those are what I ended up liking the best. So that's the scope. That's the uh, that's the Ace H50R. So this is the Vista H50R, and it's the handheld, and it's basically the same thing. So has the rangefinder in it. And uh, the, this is your focus right here. Hold down the power button. This does not have the optical zoom, but it does have the 2560 by 2560 uh, eyepiece or objective that you look into. It's really nice. It's really easy on your eye. Oh, they both also have the feature where you can change the color of, of the screen to be kind of like a sepia, so it's not so bright white. It's not nearly as hard on your vision at night, which I actually just keep it on that all the time. It's a switch to turn it on and off, uh, along with all of the color palettes. Uh, has so, so, oh, here's what I did not tell you. This is a base magnification of three, which is absolutely my favorite base magnification gives you the ability to shoot close or long. It still has a decent field of view. And then obviously you use the zoom, the digital zoom or whatever, and you can really reach out there a long ways. This has a base magnification of four. So to put that in perspective, I actually think that it outperforms a 1020 handheld I have at distance by quite a lot. Like I can see stuff with this that I cannot see with a 1020 handheld because of the base magnification being four power, even though it's a 640. Now the downside or the trade-off to that is, is that four power limits your field of view. Sometimes I wonder if I'm seeing stuff that's close, but this is the best handheld I've used at finding things a long ways away. And man, can you see stuff a long ways away with this. So I wanna say the detection range on this is supposed to be 2,600 uh, meters as well, but uh, this has kind of become my favorite handheld. I was out wolf hunting in the daylight uh, not too long ago and we were glassing, we we're up on a big ridge, the sun was up, we'd been up since like right at daylight, the sun was up and I was glassing out a big 99 power Kawa spotting scope, binoculars, a SIG Kilo 10K rangefinder, and um, I decided, hey, let's pull this thermal on and just look around. So it's bright daylight, I'm up in the mountains, I start looking and far, far away, and I'll tell you how far away it was in a second, in the dark timber I see a white spot and I'm like, huh, there's something over there. So I pull up the binoculars, can't see it, get out the spotting scope, figure out where it's at, mule deer doe at like 3,650 yards away. That's two miles in the broad daylight and I could see it with this thermal. So I couldn't tell that it was a deer, but I knew it was an animal, I could see it moving. Uh, pretty insane the kind of range that uh, this stuff's giving you. So so also on this Vista H50R, the R stands for rangefinder. This has a swappable battery and this battery life is like 11 hours. It is legit awesome. One thing I really like about this is when you run it, all you have to do is touch the power button and it just shuts off the screen so the battery even lasts longer. But you can hot swap, you can pop this battery out. It comes with two 11 hour batteries. So it gets you a really long use and you can also charge it on the go with the USB-C right here and I love the fact that it has an LED so you know when it's charging you can actually tell but I have really really liked this handheld okay I'm gonna run through a couple things really quick inside the scope and make sure I didn't forget anything that I wanted to tell you about 
So let me just, uh, I gotta zoom out on this a little bit. So it has sound, obviously you can turn the microphone feature on and off, it has Wi-Fi, you can connect it to your phone. Uh, this is how you zero it and get into the main menu is you just simply short touch this and it gives you the quick menu which allows you to run through. When you just hit the quick menu, it allows you to switch through all the color palettes. It allows you to change the brightness, the contrast, the detail. And I actually don't like the detail or the sharpness turned up too, bad, too much. I like it down around four or five. It gives you your battery display in there. If you long press this, it bumps you into the main menu, which the first thing is that gives you is ultra clear mode, has reticles that you can choose from, uh, gives you your zeroing profiles, and it has multiple zeroing profiles. So obviously I'm on A and I don't want to mess that up because that's what I'm zeroed at. But it gives you reticle color options. It gives you reticle types. And um, I didn't, yeah, so there's a whole bunch of them. So I'm on number seven right now. But as you can see, there's a bunch of different reticle types in here. I'm going back to seven because that's what I like. Um... Oh, you can build your own reticle in this. I didn't mention that. You can build your own BDC reticle, meaning you can go in into the app and tell it, I want the first steady line to be a half a mil. I want the next one to be one mil. I want the next one after that to be 1.2 mils. Or you can do it in MOA or inches as well. So if you would rather have that. Okay, so back into the menu here. You has, it has uh, what range you zeroed at. It has picture-in-picture -picture mode. There's your Wi-Fi. There's your calibration options. And uh, let's see here. It's got a motion sensor that will shut things off. It's got gallery. So the other night I shot a coyote at uh, a couple hundred yards and I wandered around in the dark for like 20 minutes looking for it. Could not find it anywhere. Came back, set the gun up, turn, opened this up, went into the menu and watched where it was at, lined up some stuff and went out and walked out to where the coyote was. But being able to go back and watch it again was huge. So, um, there's your ballistic calculation, so you can see, I'll show you what I'm shooting, I think, let's see here, oh, this is your image hue, oh, there we go, okay, I wasn't pushing the button, alright, so this is kind of the more bluish color, as you can see here, and I don't love this, it's hard on your eyes. But this is what I like it on is that more sepia. Th let me get back here to the ballistic calculation. So you can see here, you can, you can turn that on right there. If I go right here, I can see what the profile for the ballistics I have named is. I can also scroll. Oops, I don't want to do that. I want to stay there. So I'm shooting a Creedmoor, uh, 22 Creedmoor with an 88 grain ELDM. And... If I scroll down to the parameter settings, it will actually show me all my ballistics in here, as you can see, which is really cool that it shows you all that. So, it gives me an option of changing those out, should I want to, which I do not. Uh, recoil activated video is on, puts a standby mode option, the microphone on, pixels, different settings, uh, yards, meters, dates times all that kind of stuff so pretty easy to run through the menu as you can see and you just do it by pushing this button and twisting this knob so really quite simple and easy to work through this um i think that pretty much covers it let us know in the comments what you think but i'm pretty impressed this was going to be as far as 640s go this is probably my new favorite 640 uh thermal rifle scope and depending on what I'm doing this Vista might be my new favorite handheld so if you're trying to drive down the road and look out the window four power is too much it's not going to work for that but if you're trying to see like any little detail things far away like we do out here in the west man this thing is the bomb so good battery life uh, good warranty Go check out knock picks. So the other thing I want to tell you before we quit this video is, is that their knock picks for IRA USA is launching two other products besides these. One of them is a combination handheld scope that's made and designed to be 
in your pocket or in your hand and then clipped onto your scope. And then there's also um, just sort of a lower end thermal optic. In this, in this ACE, sorry, in this, uh, yeah, in the ACE scopes, this is the 640. Supposedly, eventually, there's going to be a 1280 version of this that will be a two power magnification, which I'm, and a 60 millimeter objective, which I'm stoked for. That's not been launched yet. Apparently, it's coming at some point, though. So, yeah, I think that pretty much covers it. Yeah, let us know in the comments what you think. Please make sure you like, subscribe, and share, and we will see you on the next video.